and morning guys and girls um yeah it's a weekday fishing a weekday lucky have a day off um at cape points i'm here super early it's about half past five now um i was here last weekend i didn't put a video up last week because the gopro bombed out and the batteries just drained for some reason i reckon it's those voice prompt things but whatever I got two tail last weekend which sucks because I couldn't get any of it on video and it would have been a good video but yeah I'm here today the weather for the weekend's not looking great so lucky we can get a paddle in um, today and I hope same luck as last weekend hopefully some tail they have been around and katonkle there's been a lot of katonkle around so I'm really hoping for some katonkle as well um, there's a couple guys joining me um, but they should be in the next couple minutes so yeah, let's cut to the video. Okay guys, we're on the water, first on the water, hopefully not the only one to not catch a fish, a lot of guys behind me, uh, well a lot of guys for a Friday, um, but yeah, as I said, only fishable day of the weekend kind of, so yeah, let's hope we can make things happen today, but yeah, the fish are still here, we should hook up. The sun is nice and hard to hit the lures nicely. Start with the chrome pink kalka and the little white ghost the parlor and some skirts. Okay guys, so I've made it just past the, the kalp now. Set my trawl. Um, you want to know what I'm using? This store parlor. Often guys ask how, the, how do you set a trawl? I'll show you guys that now, as soon as I can fix this. All you do, pop your line a little bit behind you like that. Pop your thing in the holder. Start paddling. Just get a little bit of speed first. So for shallow divers, I put the bail off. I do about 10 strokes. 10 to 15. Five, six. You need to put the bow arm off. Let's do a draggy step. It's fine. And you're good. You're not falling. It's only nine meters of water. Let's hope it doesn't get out. Last time I hooked up, pretty much 100 meters past. Okay, I'm about to go now. So we hope it was like last time. I hope you guys can see why I'm using a new angle on the GoPro because the um the mount in the front is giving me a few problems the other day I tried to press record on it and I lost my fish so I was trying to reach too far forward so changed up to the mount it's a bit closer but it's quite close um, but yeah I'm gonna change up that mount and put it a bit closer so it's a bit easier so yeah you guys are right in my face, so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna paddle up a bit further and then I'll catch you guys a bit further, further out. Okay guys, I hooked up. I got really keen. Screwed that up pretty badly. Now I'm really bleak. There are fish here, guys have been catching around me. Man, that's a, that's a 
a real shitty one. I really thought I had a fish on there now. Crap, man. Okay, I think it's going to be one of those days today. Let's try this all again. Oh, nice size. So, my first, eh? The first? First, after 400 kilometers of paddling, eh? <laughs> the first one's always the best one. They tend to start coming after the first one. It's taken me. Well, I'm taking a video, so. I'll do a screenshot from there. Nice man. Beaut. One hour later. Okay, James, we just hooked up. Saw a couple of birds. I think there's some fish underneath them. It's fighting like it's a My only fish for the day, so I'm sure you guys can understand why I'm taking my time and why it's taking so long. Oh, jumping off the water. Okay, let's get the tail grab going. It's gonna get risky. Bring it around. Bring it around like that. Yeah! Got him! Oh shit, oh shit, we dropped him, we dropped him. Okay guys, this is why you gotta be careful when you tail grab. These guys have quite a scope in them. Check those birds in the background, I'm not sure if you can see them, there's Katonkel underneath them. to blank today and I did not expect to catch on the spit 
Let's go, boys. Okay, I'm just gonna put my lid quick. I need to get my knife out. Yeah, once again, like I said, that GoPro placement is not the best. Oh. Uh, viewer's discretion is advised for this next piece. I've had a couple guys ask me how I bleed my fish. Right. What are you going to do? First things first. Keep the hook. Oh, it wasn't that well though. Keep the hook in. You just want to give them a jab right between the eyes. That'll kill them. Um, they'll still kick around. But you'll see, the minute the knife goes in, they give that last little slap. And that's when this, they're just brain dead now. <sighs> On the chrome spinner, nothing fancy. Right. And to bleed them, all I do is uh, cut behind the, the gills. Right, there's a soft membrane behind the gills. Just on both sides, give them a cut. If you really want to go overboard, just behind the the two the fins on the side, I won't use fancy terminology now. And give a cut there and then just cut on the tail on both sides. And then you can cut the throat as well. But that's perfect just like that. And then you want to just, you really want to put water over them because if you don't, the arteries will clog up. But hey, nice fish. We're not going hungry tonight. Let's go get us another one. Oh, lots of blood in the car. <laughs> lots of blood everywhere. Let's go find those birds. Lots of splashes, lots of action. If it stays like this for the next half an hour, like the birds aren't even moving away from me. Let's see if I can get this. Look at this. Look at all these birds out here. And that's all fish underneath it. meters away looks good yeah they're going again watch the birds 
guys who want to get into fishing that have been woo, asking me questions. My pen spin pressure 4500 with a high rise black force. Literally, the easiest fishing I've ever done in my entire life. We're literally, what, 300 meters in front of the slip. Watch this. Watch this first cast. Okay, we're right on the birds. Put the paddle in. Bring the spinner up. Oh, no, I've got tangles. There you go.
Almost there. I'm coming back into the slip now. Lacquer day on the water. The first couple hours were terrible. I really thought I was in a blank. The guys were catching uh, on the trawl. And I had the same lures and everything. Didn't manage anything. Coming back in, saw those cormorants and seagulls. Normally they not a good indicator of like fish. Went out, threw a spinner in there and fast. So yeah, I ended up getting four in total, lost three. Just unlucky. Not talk will have a hard mouth, so hooks can pull pretty easily. But yeah, lucky day on the water. Catch you guys off the water. Okay gents, lucky day on the water. Uh finished up, didn't go for a chocker fish. I was way too much after after that paddle in that wind. And just missioning up and down, trawling all day and then getting all my fish in the space of 20 minutes. You guys can see here. Uh, Got one that's gonna pop on the bride now and then two that just came off the smoker so yeah thanks guys for watching like and subscribe if you guys want to see me do a catch and cook for katonkul let me know and yeah cheers check you guys next time